I found myself at Koshmar Circus, beneath the old bandstand's prominent, pyramid-shaped roof, contemplating a UFO. When I say UFO, I don't mean spaceship. I mean it in the literal sense, unidentified flying object. Circa half a metre tall, it hovered directly in my eyeline. It radiated neon beige. What a concept. I just stood there, one hand on my head, the other on my hip, considering the likelihood. We're still thinking on it, still processing, when I noticed someone or something moving behind me. I turned around and saw it was Bambi. When I say Bambi, I mean Bambi, but not as we know him. On top of his famously unsteady legs, he had four spider's legs. Grand total was eight. Besides, he had multiple sets of eyes, like that Sarah-filtered kitty on Instagram, or most common spiders, pavuk in one Euro language. The fawn looked at me, batting four sets of lashes, giving disarming smile. Off he went, hustling around the bandstand, rattling the local blue tits to the core. My modus operandi was dissociation, and tonight was no exception. This was a deer-in-headlights situation, and by deer I mean myself, not Bambi Pavuk. I was at a loss what to do, especially about the task I'd been sent to carry out. Did I say? I'd won a mad prize, likely by mistake. The award for the fictionalization of social evils goes to... Chair of the judging committee, saying my name, Corey Farr. That had been at the online winner announcement I'd attended with Drew Shumsky my soulmate and partner, earlier tonight at home in our flat on Socialny Estate. Drew going, shut the front door, what the fuck? I'd missed much of what had followed the announcement. I just sat there in my white Fruit of the Loom type charity shop t-shirt and watched myself on the live stream. I'd worn grey cotton joggers, t-shirt tucked in, a detail wasted on camera, of course, Black brogues, I'd got them involved. I was fairly certain, though, that in the after session to the public announcement, the prize coordinator had asked me to go Koshmar Circus and collect the physical representation of the cultural capital I'd just acquired. 